Okay, so um, I have something else for you about washing guns. And what I wanted to demonstrate today is I have these three different guns here. I have this um, CO2 guns. You can even see some bits of zinc in there. And I have the CH3 guns. And then I have the copper guns. And a lot of people ask still about washing your guns. I think most of you figured it out, but I still think it's a really beautiful thing to see. So what I usually do is I have this um, tube that I fill with water and I have a drain bucket right here on, on this side over here. And what I basically do is I put the tube in and I just drain all the water out, which is in the beginning the salt seawater. This one has already been washed twice, but right now I'm gonna be um, pouring it out uh, and I'm gonna pour new fresh water in. So basically what I do is I just siphon it off, try to get as much of it out without sucking up too much guns. And w then I'm gonna pour in new fresh distilled water and that will wash it up and take all the salt, dissolve the salts in the water and then I do the same process again. And I do that several times. Sometimes I do it up to four or five times. Um, like you can see here, I'm just pull it down. Oh, that. Well, that's not perfect, but that will do for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing for the other two. And I'm going to come back and show you when I pour in um, the distilled water, because it's a really beautiful thing to watch anyway. Okay, so I've siphoned off the water. Um, and you can see still some of it's in the bottom. The three gans, the CO2, CH3, and the CuO. And what I do is I use um, air conditioning water, because I use a... Uh, because we're in the tropics and we have air conditioning and it gets quite a lot of condensation water and it comes in at three parts per million so it is almost close as close as I can get to um, distilled water basically has no particles of anything in there except three particles per million particles so that's for me pure enough distilled water so what I do is I take that water and I pour it in nice and violently that way it distills it, it, it mixes up and dissolves the uh, salts that are still in there from the seawater. Same thing for this one. The CH3. And same one for the CUO. And it's beautiful to watch because the way the guns moves is quite impressive. All right, I'll take the camera a bit closer it's for you to see how this stuff moves. Really cool. Look at this, this one here. The CUO is the heaviest one, it drops quickest. You can see it's already starting to settle down. Beautiful. And then here's the CH3. And then the CO2. Already settled down quite a bit. And what I do is I repeat this process over um, about usually four or five times. Uh, obviously, I, I put more water in this bigger one. So this one could do it with three, four times. And then I do this one five or six times for the CO2 because it's a smaller vase. But obviously, I don't always use this, this sequence. I use the vases for all of them. But this is basically how I wash my GANs. And then I wait for it to settle back to the bottom probably for an hour or so. And then I siphon it off again. And they say you can use the water that, uh, that, that you have because it has the, the energy of the GANs in there. But I don't, I don't, haven't done that yet. You know, I'm just sticking to one thing for now, making this McGrav work and then uh, see, see what's next after that. But uh, it's really beautiful to watch how these things move. All right, that's it, that's washing GANs.